my research is generally divided up into about eight areas that my group works in. Uh, so we are probably most uh, well known for our work in separation science, uh, gas chromatography, uh, liquid chromatography, uh, mass spectrometry, where we develop new separation uh, modalities uh, for complex samples. Uh, we also uh, work a lot in isolating target molecules from complex samples. These can range from blood or plasma samples to uh, oral fluid uh, as we work on some of our COVID-19 di diagnostic platforms. Uh, we also do a lot of work in 3D printing where we design approaches to 3D print devices that we use in chemical measurement. Uh, uh, my group also works a lot in uh, pharmaceutical analysis. So where we're typically looking at uh, analyzing genotoxic impurities or resi residual solvents that are left over after a drug synthesis. Uh, we also design new approaches to produce uh, sustainable solvents such as ionic liquids and uh, deep eutectic solvents. Uh, some of the newer areas of the group are uh, developing smartphone approaches where we can use the smartphone as a sensor or biosensor. And of course, this is highly portable, so you could take your device out into the field and obtain uh, diagnostic information at the point of care. So this is a very attractive approach that we're working a lot on. Yeah, so, uh, you know, the majority of my uh, undergraduate students that work in my group uh, typically will go on to grad school. And so uh, I think it's very important that students get a, a, a lot of information and skills in carrying out uh, lab experiments. You know, these can be routine uh, experiments, uh, how to use NMR, uh, elemental analysis, and so on. I think it's very important that students uh, understand the fundamentals of uh, the aspects that they're working with. Uh, for uh, graduate students, you know, the um, majority of my grad students go into industry. Uh, however, I do have several grad students that went on to uh, be professors at R1 schools. Obviously, for those uh, students, I think it's very important that they uh, understand that they're exposed to a, a broad variety of different topics. Uh, so that they learn how to attach or how to attack uh, problems in a very independent manner. Uh, so that's why I, I like to see grad students working on uh, several different projects in the group so that they get experience in a wide variety of aspects. And then I think it's also very important for uh, grad students to engage in uh, different projects that maybe are related more to industrial uh, uh, collaborations that we have as well as academic collaborations because ultimately uh, science is highly collaborative and having these skills is uh, very important for both undergraduate students and graduate students. Yeah, so I, uh, my research group is highly collaborative. Um, we have collaborators uh, in Europe, Italy, Spain. Uh, we have uh, strong collaborations in South America. We have collaborations uh, currently ongoing in China, India, uh, Korea. So I look at uh, collaborations as extremely important, uh, both academic collaborations as well as industrial collaborations. In the academic collaborations, the big advantages with those is that many of those uh, students that are working on those projects, for example, in Italy, we have an Italian uh, student in my group right now, uh, she carries out some of her projects in her home institution in Italy, and then for six months of her time, she will come to uh, Iowa State and work in uh, my, my, my research group. Uh, the same is true also for a lot of our uh, collaborations in uh, Brazil. For uh, industrial collaborations, it's very important. Uh, right now, three of my graduate students are actually supported by uh, company uh, uh, collaborations where they're uh, working on a different uh, variety of different projects. I have a graduate student now that's currently working on extracting cannabinoids. Uh, this is in uh, collaboration with uh, industry. So I think it's a very important because uh, these collaborations enrich uh, the scientific pursuits that we're looking at in my research group. I think it's very uh, good for graduate students uh, to learn how to engage with uh, uh, scientists uh, throughout the world and in an industry. So overall, I, I really enjoy collaborating and my group is highly collaborative. 
so I think work-life balance is, is, is important because uh, obviously you need to be uh, fresh and uh, have the opportunity to refresh yourself so that you perform uh, when you're working, that you perform at your best. Uh, obviously, uh, the, the aspects that you have to look at as, a, as an undergraduate student or as a graduate student is that you are making good progress on your degree. And as I, as I mentioned previously, um, my goal and the goal of uh, whether it be undergraduate student program or graduate student program is that students come out and are extremely competitive. Uh, for example, when you go on to graduate school, if you're an undergraduate student, you're likely going to be applying to a lot of big schools. And so they're looking at your, uh, your background. If you're a graduate student applying to faculty positions or industrial positions, obviously uh, publications and presentations and, and those kinds of things are very important. So my job as a mentor, as an advisor is to uh, give the students the skills to make that happen. So obviously I think it's very important for students to balance these, uh, these ideals and to reach their final goals, but also do this in a way that, uh, that in which they can do this uh, successfully in the amount of time that is agreed upon uh, within the program. So one of the uh, really, I think, valuable things of being at Iowa State University is we have a very strong uh, chemistry program, uh, sciences, sciences and engineering, and allows for uh, attracting excellent students, both undergraduate students and graduate students. Uh, those students who come into our program uh, enrich our program in many ways because we work to train those students those students go off and they showcase the excellence of our department and our institution. In addition, we have, uh, as I mentioned, very strong engineering uh, programs. So this allows us in the sciences to collaborate with a number of our colleagues in the engineering departments where we can uh, take our research to new levels. So I think that uh, the really important thing about Iowa State University is we have strong students, strong faculty, and excellent resources and facilities.